Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm just going to be... I don't really know. If you watched my declutter video from the other week, you would know there were a few products that were nearly empty and I wanted to use up and there were also some products that I couldn't quite remember how they performed. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of those products and it's kind of going to be like a project pan, but like project bottle situation. <laughs> Over the next month, I want to go through all this makeup, hopefully use it all up, and then I can remove it from my collection. Because really, it's just taking up space, and I don't need a three-quarter used empty bottles just hanging around. If you missed the declutter video, I will have it linked in the description box. Otherwise, let's get into it, and I'll show you the products that I want to use up. So there are a lot of foundations. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six foundations. So let's start with these three by Rimmel. First up, I have the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Nude Foundation. So this is in the shade 10 Light Porcelain. It says it has a medium coverage, and this used to be my holy grail foundation. Back when I started getting into makeup, there weren't a lot of foundations that were really suitable for fair skin, and this was one of the only ones I could find at Priceline. The undertone on this is neutral to cool. I find all the Rimmel foundations in the fair shades do lean quite cool undertone, so they're very pink. But I have about a quarter of this bottle left. I haven't used it in so long, so I'm just going to finish it up and get it out of the way. I promise that will be the only time I say that because that's literally the gist of this entire video. <laughs> The next one by Rimmel is the Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation, again in the shade 10 Light Porcelain, but I found this one to be a lot more pink undertoned. This does have that paddle doe foot applicator instead of a pump, and I did like this foundation. It was very breathable on the skin, as the title suggests, very lightweight, has a medium coverage, again only a quarter left, so I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm going to do with it. Oh my god. And then the last Rimmel foundation is the Match Perfection, and this is in the shade 10 Light Porcelain. Now this one I do have about two thirds left. I really can't remember how this performs on my skin. From memory, it is more of a medium coverage, and I do believe they have reformulated this. I know they still have the blue lid foundation at Priceline, but I can't remember the title, but I definitely think it's been reformulated. Next, I have the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, and this is in the shade Porcelain. I really, really love this foundation, and I don't know why I stopped using it so often. The shade is really nice. It has a very neutral undertone. It can be a little bit dark. I wouldn't mind, like, just a smidge lighter, but that's where my lightning drops come in handy. You don't get a lot in this bottle. It's only 13 mils, and I'm pretty sure it's like $25. So I would only ever buy this during a Priceline sale. It's really, really lightweight on the skin, really breathable, and it actually has nice buildable coverage, and it's really long lasting. So I'm actually excited to start using this again. And lastly for foundation, I have a high-end one. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation and it's in the shade Porcelain. It has been a really, really long time since I used this. It has one of those dropper applicators. Excuse you, ma'am. The shade of this one is really nice, a neutral undertone. I'm pretty sure it's about a medium coverage, really lightweight on the skin. I can't remember how long lasting it is, but what I think I'll do is mix this in with the Rimmel foundation so that the shade kind of matches me better. And from memory, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation was quite heavy on the skin. So I think mixing these two together will be a nice little combo. Oh, I only had five foundations. I have six concealers though. Starting with the NARS Creamy Concealer, I have two here, one in vanilla and one in Chantilly. The shade vanilla was the very first high-end concealer I ever bought. It was $44 and I remember going into Mecca and I was just like, I can't believe I'm about to spend $40 on a freaking concealer. But I did it and I loved it. I'm pretty sure this isn't the very first one I bought. I think I did go ahead and buy another, but there is like 
hardly anything left in here. I'm probably going to be scraping the edges, but I want to use it again and just remember what the formula was like. And then I also have the shade Chantilly. This one is lighter. This one was really good for using under the eyes, whereas vanilla kind of matched my skin tone. I think there's a little bit more left in Chantilly, so it won't take me long to get through these. Next, I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. I freaking loved this concealer. I'm pretty sure this was like the third one I bought. Firstly, the applicator I really like. It's like a bendy little, little wand there. It's not your typical doe foot. This shade was also really nice for me. I'm pretty sure it has like a medium, really lightweight kind of coverage. So I'm excited to dip back into that and give it a go. Next, I have some of the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. I've got the shade 08 Fair and 04 Fair. Now, when they expanded the shade range in this concealer, of course, I had to buy them all and test them all out, and they were fabulous. Such great fair shades, a nice medium buildable coverage, really lightweight under the eyes, and it's just a great concealer, and I'm pretty sure they're only like six or eight dollars. I do have a backup of 04, I'm pretty sure, in my little basket up there. So I really need to get through these because what's the point of having these sitting in my collection? Look, it's like hardly nothing left. And then lastly for concealer, I have the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade 10 Fair. Now I'm pretty sure I did use up one full tube of this and this was a backup that I bought during a Priceline sale. I really do not remember what this was like. I just, I, I don't know. And I don't reach for it. So that's why I decided I don't want it in my collection. Before I make the final decision though, I just want to test it out and remember what the formula's like, remember the coverage, how it lasts, if the color suits me. If not, I'm just going to get rid of it because there are a lot of concealers in my collection that I absolutely love and that I would recommend over something like this. Next, I have some brow products, and these two are by Benefit. The first one is the Gimme Brow, and this is just a little mini sample I got who knows when, but I freaking love this product. So this is in the shade one, and it has the tiniest little wand. You can be so damn precise with it. This just really adds that volume and hairy look to the brows, which I really need because my brows are so blonde and they are so sparse. I do have another one of these in my collection, but you know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna use it up, okay. <laughs> and then next I have the Cabrow Brow Gel. Again, this is in the shade one. And just from the start, I always thought this was a really dry formula. I don't know if I just got a bad one because so many people seem to love it but I never reached for it because of those first few tries. I was just like, mm, was it really worth the money? So this is one I just wanna test out again because I don't really reach for pomades very often anymore. I do prefer a pencil. So I'll give this another go, refresh my memory on it, and then make the decision. And lastly, I have two blushes that I wanna try out again. The first one is the Flower Beauty Powder Blush in the shade Peach Primrose. Now, as I said in my declutter video, I'm pretty sure I didn't like this because it was patchy, but I, I really can't remember. I love the color. I think it's really nice and it works with my fair skin tone. So I'm looking forward to dipping into this again and seeing what it was like. And then I've got this one here by OXX Studio, which is a Kmart brand and it's a baked blush in the shade Apricot. Now I love the color of this. It's definitely not that apricot like, it's more pink, I would say, but it does have a slight sheen to it. And I love blushes that give that little bit of glow to the skin. I think it just looks so healthy and fresh. So again, I'll be dipping into this one to see whether or not it's good enough to stick around. That wasn't as savage as I wanted it to be. Mm. All right, well, they are all the products I am going to be project panning slash project empty bottling slash trying out again. 
I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are down below and in a month or so I will definitely do an update video or I'll include these in an empties video and let you know how I went with everything. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. You can also come follow me over on Instagram. I will have that link down below. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.